Uto Jacob Zuma, I am actually too old to be fighting these criminals <laughs> who, are, who is in power right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uto Jacob Zuma, basically, I should have been, by now, I should be sitting at home actually uh, playing with my grandkids and uh, and everything. But now I have to come here and set up this uh, this institution called Umkonto Wesizwe so that we can deal decisively with these criminals that are in power. Now, when you say uh, criminals that are in power, uh, you can't use that word in the absence of Rama, Rama, Ramaphoria. Some people, they are saying it's not Ramaphosa, it's Ramaphoria, right? The word uh, criminal and the word Ramaphosa, it goes parallel, right? I've got, I've, I, I, I will substantiate. By the way, even in Begi, in his own words, he said that Ramaphosa is a thief. It's not even me. I'm not, I'm not making words up. Ramaphosa himself said that this man is a thief, right? And you say, Bongs, what do you mean by saying that? I want us to devolve on this matter. I want us to go deeper on this matter where Jacob Zuma, uh, where Jacob Zuma is saying that, uh, where Jacob Zuma is saying that, you know what? I have to come. I have to come and set up this institution. But also, I love the fact that the 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 the, 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 the strategy that uh, the MK party is 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 is, is, is using, it, it's new to me. It's funny, yet it is new, and I like what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? I like what I'm seeing, which is very, 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 very interesting for me. It is very interesting to watch. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that which I have found it very keen. I, I found it very interesting to watch as far as the MK party because we don't want a political party that is coming here and you're not giving us anything unique. You must give us something unique, something different. You know what I'm saying? It shows that you, you have thought through about everything that is about to happen. But there's one thing that I know for sure that we have thought through about it. It is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this youtube channel speaking about financially contribution to the channel you can join become a member of this youtube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month you can also uh, use the super thanks party in case you don't want to do that guys there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed emk political party et ATMK political party, uh, you can't be a member of the NEC and still be the, be, be the member because and still be uh, in parliament and be the uh, block, be the minister, be what, 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 what. No, EMK party is saying no. You are only going to be on one side. You are either the minister or you are an M a member of the NEC, but you can't be both. And I looked at this and I was like, wow, this is quite interesting. But remember the context is that I'm too old that I should be fighting these criminals. There's a video of Tabom Peggy talking about Ramaphosa being a thief. We need to play this video here. I need to take you through. And then I'm going to give you the one now of Jacob Zuma, where you can see that even Jacob Zuma, I mean, you can see that even Jacob Zuma uh, <laughs> this thing you you <laughs> you can see that somehow Peggy and Zuma they both say the same thing about Ramaphosa. You know what I'm saying? Take a look at what uh, Umbe. I know, I know. You're gonna ask a question to say, "Poor why Peggy is voting with you with you with with oh, 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 look, oh, Ramaphosa." Then <laughs> I think the hate for Zuma uh, prompted him to vote for Ram vote with Ramaphosa. It's not necessarily because Ramaphosa is a very good person in terms of how he does things. No, I don't think so. Right? I honestly don't think so. But nevertheless. Listen to what Mpegi said here, then we're going to listen to what Uchekob Zuma said after that. Take a look at this. 
I don't think the ANC understands that reality. Um, it is true that you have got many greedy people, many corrupt people. If, if, if I ask the question, I ask the question, why is the ANC, which marginalized people, as we, in the day, as we are saying, why is it behaving like this? I say to the ANC comrades that when I, you say I must go campaigning next year to, to say to people vote ANC, <coughs> how am I going to do that to say vote ANC when I know very well that the, the branch of the ANC in this constituency is led by a criminal? Yeah. You can't. You could, you could, it's not possible to go and say vote day and say for a criminal. Okay. Now, I'm going to go, um, we, we will now go to what Jacob Zuma has got to say about Ramaphosa. When they say Ramaphosa is a criminal, it doesn't come out of, the, they, don't, they don't make, the, they, it's not like they are making that up. Ramaphosa spent how many billions buying power Buying ANC so that ANC can vote for him. Do you remember that? Oh, the second thing, Ramaphosa bought U Mabuza. Oh, not forget about that. We will forever remember that. Look, Ramaphosa had lost the vote, but when he they realized that hey, we have lost it, they then bought U Mabuza. That's how he got power. This two alone makes him a criminal. A thief, but it's not enough. We'll come back with more before we transi transition into another one. Take a look at what Zuma has got to say here. And as no man agonized the Lengoma, yet Kessel Dala, Ella Figuerelli for the first time. That it's such a little onion says, Wang Upper, who is in India. Yati. eight <laughs> I was good to see by Dallas Bangaga. So fun, which man is still in a cabin. Uguti, Sisu, say, E. Cabin with Busen West and over this E. Cabin. Finagas Shalamas is Bangaga's Pumle, Sidali say, Abasugu Angiti Siachabu. Is in Toles Zimbalwa, Engis Shoyo Esiso Zenza, so Gulungisa is relate. Uma Senze, Imyagem Shanyo Kala, Sonke Sebos is born a Masuka to Guti, Gempela and Gempela, Libuile, Elabantabata. Yatabanga Futuguti. Uma se sbonengo si, kuri se lpuyile, sonke se ofoteli tam ito embula bagiti, bomta. Go bagula baba ningen ba votela ayo, ni ba tole lum sebenzi yo kpela ba nandaba nan ba funuwe chade parlament. No ma sebe se parlament, abako tlingen tlupego yetu. Ok, let's, let's, let's move, let's move, let's move. Then there's this issue of palapala, Fa, look, uh, money under matrasi and everything. Like, uh, 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 hey. Okay, after that is the 500 billion that, that was stolen during COVID-19. And the, the funny part is that's the only amount we know. The question is how much is it that we don't know, right? 
a uh, 20 million rand was spent uh, on a month month to month basis trying to trace the the people that were like, stole money from Ramaphosa's farm right and i said to people it can't be that these people were willing to spend 20 million when Ramaphosa had only lost 8 million it doesn't make sense it doesn't make do your maths that it doesn't make sense it means there's a lot of money that this guy lost in that farm there's a lot of money that guy lost in that in that farm and losing such amount of money he was then willing to spend 20 million tracing it back so with that being said i am saying to say guys this thief he then sold about saa about transnet this guy is selling every state enterprise i will not be shocked if you guys decide to give him power, the next one that is going to sell is SAPC. Uh, um, look at what he has done with post office. Where is post office today? Transnet, what is happening with Transnet? SAA, what is happening with SAA? This guy is very ruthless in destroying this country and is very aggressive in destroying this country. He's selling everything to the private, pri private sector. Look at what is happening at ESCOM. They are now trying to privatize ESCOM to the best of their ability. The next institution to be sold to the private, to, 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 to the private by Ramaphosa, if he gets to power again. Don't say I didn't say it. SAPC will be sold. This man, I told you guys this, Ramaphosa has bad news. Ramaphoria is bad news. Ramaphoria is bad news. They, uh, those who knows him, they call him Rama. But do I say that politicians don't steal? No, I don't say so. I, I, I will never say so. It's like people when they say, oh, white people don't steal. Hey, Baba, you, you don't know. You, have, you don't know. You've never lived with white people. I worked in a factory. When white people steal, they steal differently than black people. But when white people steal, <laughs> I used to work in a certain fetch, right? This guy, this white guy who was in charge of that, uh, not a fetch man, um, a warehouse. When he steal, the reason they chased me out is because I caught them stealing. So they saw that I was, they, I was lucky that they didn't kill me because a lady who caught them stealing, they killed her in the office. She was found dead in the office. Mysteriously so, because the key was inside, inside the office, right? Locked. But they could see that the lady was strangled. I took over that office. I worked in it. They just changed the office, but it was the same office. That lady caught them stealing and they killed her. I was lucky that I came out alive. But whenever this white guy will steal, or whenever these white people will steal, look at what, guess what they will do? they will come up with something that is concrete evidence there's invoice there's everything they steal from the system and they make it sure that it looks genuine and if you, if you don't know your stories you wouldn't have picked it up that they are stealing that's how white people steal and also white people not all of them they have got the tendency that we 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 keep this institution running but we steal from the proceeds Whereas black, most black politicians, they steal the actual product instead of stealing from the proceeds. That's what differentiates between white people stealing and versus black people stealing. But all of them, today, we've got, look, look FNP, we've got Sasol, to name few. Those companies were, were, were built by apartheid government and they stole from the proceeds, not the actual production. That is what I believe that most politicians in this country stole from that perspective, following a white man's method. Ah, the current one. He's like, no, this method of stealing from the process is too small. He, that is why I've got a problem with Ramaphosa, because Ramaphoria, he takes every, he steals their production. That's why, I've got, that's why I've got a problem with him. I'm telling you, no more, even if you were to vote for MK, even if you were to vote for DA, a patriotic alliance, a EFF, arise Mzanzi, Mzanzi, I don't know what, 
no matter IFP, whatever, no matter the political party you vote for, the bottom line is they will steal. The, what makes a difference is how they steal. That's what makes it different. What makes the difference is how they steal. Here we are not choosing between a saint and the devil. We are choosing between a devil and a devil. We are saying, who is the better devil between the two? That's it. We are, forget about the other things of, uh, hey, uh, there's no one who doesn't steal. It's just that when others steal, they steal better because they think that this country must, look, like I should steal in a manner that things must continue even after stealing. I must not steal the, pro the, 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 the production and the sales. and F I must not steal the actual company. I must steal for at least the proceeds made from the company. At least the company will keep going. And thus, our people will, know, will still have the jobs. This one, the current one, yo, oh, this one, the current one, it doesn't care. It doesn't give it. They're not even a swimming pool. Right now, he's looking for power to go and steal more. And he's going to do exactly that. What has the man done for South Africa? It's a question that all these haters who are saying, hey, Bongane, you ask Bongane, you are saying this and this about Ramaphosa, you hate the ANC. When you ask them a simple, basic, yet fundamental question, what has Ramaphosa done for South Africa? They can't answer that question. Because then you are no longer asking a matter of feelings. You are, no longer, you are no longer asking a matter of, um, of perceptions. You are no longer asking about political deception. You are asking a matter of facts. Ramaphosa can't say, I will end load trading. He had six years to end load trading. Why do we, where is post, post office gone? Transnet, almost sold. SAA, sold. Uh, Escom, they want to sell Escom. Ramaphosa sells everything that is in front of him. He doesn't wait. Now I've never seen a greedy person like the, 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 the current president. This one has got a degree in greediness. And he will stop at nothing but to finish the country, sell it completely to the private. This country will be governed. Under that guy, this country will be completely governed by a private, local private institution. And that's where they will make money, right? And that's where they will charge us a ridiculous amount of money. You will pay simple thing. We'll be, look, look, at, look at something. Check, check something. Have you checked how much? Uh, the other time I went to, look, there was a type of cereals that I usually buy. Now. So I went to the shop. I went to pick and pay and I bought the same cereals. This month I bought that cereals uh, at about 60 something rand. 61 rand if not 60 rand. The following month I bought the same cereals at 75, 74 rand or so. The, like, you can't have this random increase on prices. Like, look at that. An increase of over 10 rand. What has the man said about it? Nothing. Why? Because he makes money from these things. His friends are making money from these things. Look at the increase on petrol. Like, what is appetizing about Ramaphosa that people can go after Ramaphosa and vote for him and bring Ramaphosa back? Like, what is appetizing about Ramaphosa? That's what I, I can't understand when a person says...